Hello everyone, this is April, the artist behind Invoke Art Sense. Today I will be doing a sketch, uh, Demeter. I will be doing Demeter, a mythology character. The YouTube Artist Collective, the collective from Facebook, um, that's, the, that's the topic for this time. They do it every two months and I wanted to participate. I am not an official member. But I just wanted to do my own. I wanted to have, wanted to get my do my own spill, have my own um, version of it. And I love mythology characters. I graduated with a bachelor's of fine arts, and my graduation exhibition was based on mythology characters. I never did Demeter, but I did Athena, Ar uh, Artemis, Apollo, and Aphrodite. So. This is my own spill on Demeter. Dem the, the artist collective, a few of them did Persephone. And I was interested, you know, in, you know, getting, doing Demeter, her mother. Everyone focused on Persephone. What about Demeter? Demeter is an interesting character in herself. Um, so. That's what I will be doing today. So with Demeter, Demeter is so sad that Persephone cannot spend her time or has to spend her time in in a, the underworld. I almost forgot. Uh, she has to spend her time in the underworld with Hades. And during autumn and winter, she doesn't do her job she doesn't make things grow so this will present her in a half perspective half uh, perspective maybe uh, one side one side will be green one side will be winter And I want this to be a separation. She doesn't want to do her job during autumn and winter. So, so the background and herself, half of her will be in grayscale. Half of her will, half of the background will be in winter. The final drawing for this will be done in watercolors. Because I want that loose fill in. I just really have fallen in love with watercolors lately. So the gray is placed in a few choice, a few areas. And then uh, there will be um, color, probably a green color um, scheme going on with her. Green or possibly orange, like maybe autumnish colors. And the background here, the left side will be green, symbolizing nature, spring, summer. And then the other side will be in a winter theme. And by the way, I'm using color erase pencils. They are really the best to sketch with. So this side, the blue here is symbolizing winter. And then on this side, there will be some green. I don't have any color erased green, but 
let's just use a violet, you know, a purple to symbolize the green. I'm waiting for my color race in the mail more. I ordered my stuff on Amazon. So this here will be still green. This area here. And then from here will be green. And then on this side, this tree here, underneath this tree here, there will be snow. Some snow here. Just a bit. And then off to the side, there will be a little bit more snow. Instead of just doing it simply split in the middle, just to have a better composition, I have it split in the middle for winter and and winter and spring or summer, but it would be not so great for the overall composition. So this is split in the middle, but some of the some of the winter side is on here, and then some of the the summer, spring, nature side. I just say nature is on this side. And then this side will have much more snow. All of this area here will be snow. I'll do a separate video on the watercolor painting of this. This is just gonna be the sketching, sketch with me video. Okay, so that's gonna be snow. And then this side, be green all the way up to the top here okay, and then just to have a general idea of where things go right now I just want to define the features a little bit more okay and then in this uh, I really don't have green uh, but We'll use, we'll use a warm color, orange, orange is warm, and yeah. we'll use this just to symbolize some color, this will be, it could be autumnish color, but I want it to be green in the, in the final, but this area will have the color, should have just color on the on her face here just on the my right side and then a little bit on her raised knee, uh, knee and some on the bottom tiny bit on her arm here and her, this area here will be half gray, half skin tone. When I get to that, more of her will be skin tone. And then her neck here will be gray. And then I will also be doing a part two of the sketchbook um, tour. Uh, I'll be doing it much faster than my last sketchbook tour. Not really, I want to make the sketchbook tour. Last last part probably won't take a long time, but I'm finally finished with my very first sketchbook because I never never officially kept one. I started one and didn't ever do anything, or if it was just part of my, part of my, you know, college, you know, activities, but I was, I was supposed to keep a sketchbook, but I never did. Assignments that you have to keep and you have to turn in, um, but I just barely did the minimum, and probably I don't even have. I probably never even finished. I didn't finish any of them. I I don't think so. So here, part of her hand here will be skin tone and part grayscale.
this hand here will have the most skin tone present because it's pointing to the nature side of the uh, drawing. And then the focus or the foreground will have long leaves of grass. And over on the green side, there will be just like moss or mulch or whatever you call it, grass. little hills green grass or clovers thank you for watching this video and the next video will be of the finished watercolor of this sketch you see here so like subscribe hit the notification bell and see you next time in the next exciting video